These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <coughs> Huh. All right, what's up everybody? It's Grim Green back here and yeah, today we're doing some Oxva stuff. It's the Oxva Slim Pro and Slim Pro SQ. I believe the SQ stands for square because it's, you know, a square shape and yeah, you guys are right. <laughs> you guys are right. It's good. These vape good. Flavorful. Yes. Smooth, swooshy airflow. Yes, absolutely. Long lasting life. Yeah, kind of mostly. I've been using the 0.4 and the 0.8 coil heads. I think those are my favorite. And I think my favorite of those two is the 0.4 because it's so versatile. I can do a restricted lung with it and the airflow is full open. Close the airflow down about halfway. And it's honestly like, it's legitimately like a perfect mouth to lung for me. It's just rich, flavorful, really very satisfying. They call these pods top fill pods and they technically are top fill pods, but it's still like a black rubber plug in there. And 10 times out of 10, I don't bother trying to fill this up while it's still on the battery. I'll just take the pot out anyway. They might as well have just put this on the bottom. And the rinky dinky little tab to pull this little plug open is small and rinky dinky, but the plug does feel secure. The magnets do feel secure in the battery. And best of all, the thing just does not leak. I've had these going since the UK at the end of October, flew home with some pods, no leaking anywhere, went up to Santa Rosa with some different pods, no leaking or weeping or seeping anywhere. They stay extraordinarily clean. The first pods I used that I flew home from the UK with went about 1500, about 1500, 1600 puffs. I was really impressed with how long they lasted. I did have 1.8 ohm pod in there that only went like, 400 ish, 450 puffs before it started tasting, I, I don't know, really dry and soggy at the same time. It was really bizarre. It was like this weird outlier, but for the most part, they've been really very consistent getting 1500 puffs upwards of 2000 puffs. So let's talk about the screens between the two, because the pro has a very old school feeling like LCD screen with a very fancy led strip underneath it. That doesn't really serve any other purpose other than to show that I'm kind of taking a drag. I can decide what it looks like. They give me a few options by tapping twice on the button. I can choose between three different led strip sort of illuminations. And that's pretty neat. It just seems weird to have such a cool led strip, like, you know, gradient slick led strip underneath this, like, you know, really old school looking like DNA 20 looking LCD screen. The SQ on the other hand, which has a bigger battery, by the way, this is 1200 ma. The pro itself is a thousand ma. It also has a much nicer and fancier full color screen. I've been using it on the green setting because I like that big battery level indicator across the bottom, even though it's not a percentage. I can press the button on this twice and it'll take me to a little menu where I can adjust the power, turn it on smart mode. I can adjust the theme, press and hold the button, and I can choose between three different themes. And the little rocket guy theme has animations when I take a drag on it, which is really cool at first, but then I realized, well, I never get to look at it. <laughs> if I'm the one taking a drag, unless I'm like sitting there in the mirror, I don't get to see this cool little animation thing. The green theme doesn't have an animation, but the gray theme does have a cool little like dark gears sort of turning animation. They both function the same exact way. The button functions the exact same way. Three clicks will let me start adjusting the wattage up and down. Each click is a half of a watt and I just leave it alone to sort of lock it in. Four clicks will turn this into a fire button and turn that fire button off. And then two clicks will either get me into the menu on the SQ or let me adjust the LED strip on the Pro. These are real good. I mean, really very good, but they're not quite perfect. They're both made out of a zinc alloy, which makes them just ah, a little heavy, a little on the heavy side, which kind of bums me out. I like the weight of it. I always know it's in my pocket. It feels good. It honestly kind of feels the SQ kind of feels like a, the way that a Zippo kind of used to feel that sort of palm weight to it. But 
it's so good for like a hands-free that I wish it wasn't as heavy because it's so good for a hands-free. So it is weighty, and I found that at about a thousand puffs, these slim pods, at least the 0.8 and the 0.4 that I've been using, do get fairly gurgly. It's easy to clear. I just put my finger on the pod and kind of flick it right at the ground, and that clears it. But the gurgle comes back like every 10 puffs or so, and I find myself having to clear it. The quality of the vape doesn't change. The flavor of the vape doesn't change. The airflow doesn't really change. It's just this gurgle appears at about a thousand puffs on almost every pod that I've used. I love that these are cross compatible with all of the other Oxva Zlim batteries. This is the Zlim SE that I picked up in Germany that I loved. I love this battery, the Hall of Vape branded. I can use these pods on it. It's great. Battery's completely dead. That's fine. These are good. Just hands down good. There's no way around it. I think with my little gripes and everything else included, that is going to land these in that very, very solid, very firm, very solid, like nine banana sticker territory. They're not perfect. I have some issues with them, but overall the Oxva Slim stuff has been top tier, top quality. The pod rankings this year that are hopefully going to be done by the end of the year are, are it, it's ridiculous. It's going to be ridiculous. There's a lot of really strong contenders, a lot of really good pods this year, and the Oxva Slim and the Slim SQ, they stand up uh, amongst the best of them. And you can even see by looking at the finish on this SQ, I've dropped it a bunch of times hard on concrete, and it takes a licking, keeps on ticking other than cosmetically. And yep, this is what rambling looks like. We've reached the end of the video. How are you? Listen, I can't tell you exactly how much these cost, but I've seen them paired with coil heads for under $40, which is still maybe a little bit of vape budget hands. Everything just seems to be getting more expensive these days. I remember when a single coil wasn't like $15. That's bananas to me. So there's always some vape budget hands included. I can't tell you exactly where to get these. I can't even tell you generally where to get these, unfortunately, thanks YouTube. But I can tell you this, if you are a person right now who smokes cigarettes, now's the time to switch. Let's go. I believe in you. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market in the description of this video. I want to put links to just science and just education. This has been a grim green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free literally every single day. <coughs> it's like 10 30 and then I'm uh, just gonna smoke so. Hi, George Boy. Hi. Yo, yo, love you.